E-Verify is the single most successful federal program aimed at preventing illegal immigrants from joining the nation's workforce. It's once again being threatened. Permanent reauthorization for the program has been pulled from pending legislation. Now, that change was made by Senate negotiators without public comment or debate. Lisa Sylvester has our report. E-Verify is the nation's voluntary employment verification system. Companies can use the Internet-based program to verify a prospective employee's legal working status. But E-Verify, which started as a pilot program, has never been made permanent by Congress. A Senate amendment to the Homeland Security Spending Bill would have changed that. But in conference committee deliberations, congressional negotiators removed permanent reauthorization of E-Verify from the final bill frustrating many Republicans. It was changed to just a three-year program. And what our concern is, is we've been fighting this battle for about 13 years. And finally, we got something done. And then behind closed doors, without explanation, it's reduced to a three-year program. Some Democrats have criticized the employment verification system, calling it flawed and inaccurate. Representative Luis Gutierrez told Lou Dobbs tonight that identity thieves can escape detection by E-Verify. Gutierrez wants to scrap it and start a new program. You know that you and I can go get somebody else's Social Security card, steal somebody else's identity, and then submit that to E-Verify, and it says, ring, ring, American citizen, qualified to work. Groups favoring immigration restrictions like Numbers USA call this a stalling tactic, a way to kill the current employment enforcement system. It's always about holding down E-Verify and waiting for 5, 10, 12, 15 years until a new system is put in place. We've been waiting forever. We've got a system that works. The federal agency that runs E-Verify, U.S. Citizenship and Immigration Services, says 96.9% .9 of workers are confirmed as authorized to work either instantly or within 24 hours. And the Obama administration repeatedly delayed implementation of a requirement that federal contractors use the E-Verify system. The president eventually signed off on that rule, and it took effect last month. Kitty? Thanks very much, Lisa Sylvester.